Psalm 93 1b, The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. Psalm 93 1b, The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty, the Lord is robed, enveloped in strength. The world is firmly established, it cannot be shaken. Regardless of the opposition that may arise, let his antagonist rage as they will, for his throne is unyielding, he has reigned, he does reign today, he will reign forever and ever. No matter the turmoil or rebellion that may transpire in the dark domain on this side of heaven and under demonic influence, our eternal king remains supreme. The foundational adulation of our Lord is continued in Psalm 99 5, The Lord reigns, let the peoples tremble, he is enthroned above the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is exalted above all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name, holy is he. The strength of the king loves justice, you have established equity, you have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool, holy is he. Our Lord has clothed and girded himself alludes here to the mode of dress among the Orientals the custom of girding the loins when one labored, walked, or ran. This world cannot be moved out of its orbit, overthrown or destroyed apart from his consent. This seems to have been spoken in view of some imminent calamity as if everything might be swept away by some impending catastrophe. The psalmist finds consolation in the thought that the world was firmly established, that no storm or tempest could be so violent as to remove it out of its place. The ground of consolation is the essential stability of what God has ordained. Because Jehovah reigns over all, terrestrial things remain assuredly stable. We could not be sure of anything if we were not sure that he has full dominion. Whenever he withdraws his obvious presence from among rebellious men, things tend toward anarchy, blasphemers fume, persecutors intensify their rage, the profane grow bolder, and the licentious increase in wantonness, however when the divine power and glory are again manifested, order is restored, and the pitiable, distracted world is again able to find a semblance of peace. Oh that God would appear in great and obvious power through the church of our own day, not only saving sinners, and revealing erroneous secular interpretations of his word, but honoring his name through his adopted children. This should be a constant theme of our prayers, for atheism is the mother of anarchy, while the reigning power of God exhibited in true worship, is the only security for the hope of humanity. My thoughts on this psalm's fulfillment, this is a psalm that will really gain meaning when he comes to set up his millennial kingdom in Jerusalem. All rebellious opposition will be broken down, and all those who have opposed God will be dethroned on the earth.